Hey everybody, it's Jeff Challen. I'd like to welcome you to CS124, but what we're doing on this page is we're going to talk a little bit about a language option that you have for the first time in fall 2021. So for years we've been teaching CS125, which is the course that CS124 used to be, um, in the Java programming language. And there are great reasons to use Java as an introductory language, uh, which we'll talk a little bit about on the rest of this page. However, you know, the world is changing and there are new options in this space. And so what we decided to do this semester was rather than move entirely to a new language, we decided to give you a choice um, between two programming languages that you can take CS124 in. Let me explain a little bit about how this choice works. This is all covered in the text, by the way. So if you don't want to listen to me talk, just read what's below. Um, so a couple of things. The homework problems that you have to do on a daily basis, those you can complete in either Kotlin or Java or both. Some of you may decide, hey, you know, I'm a little bit comfortable in Java, but I want to learn some Kotlin, so I'll do the Java problems and I'll also do some Kotlin problems. Totally okay. Um, the project that we're going to do later in the semester, same thing. Um, we probably expect you to work mainly in one language on the project, but it's also okay to work a little bit in Java, a little bit in Kotlin, right? Um, you'll submit, the submission process will be a little bit different. Um, and again, I suspect that most of you will probably pick one language and stick with it for the project. Uh, but there's no requirement. You can certainly submit the project checkpoints in both Java and Kotlin, again, if you're continuing on uh, learning both. There's no requirement to learn both, by the way. I'm just trying to point out where this choice has an impact on your learning. The biggest place where this choice matters is on our weekly quizzes. Those you will have to choose to take in either Java or Kotlin. Once you start the quiz in Java, you need to finish the quiz in Java. At that point, you can't take the quiz again in Kotlin. Similarly, if you start the quiz in Kotlin, you'll need to finish the quiz in Kotlin. You can't take the quiz again in Java. So your primary choice of language that you select on this page will do a couple of things. First of all, it'll control the lessons that you see on our lesson page and direct you toward the lessons in your preferred language. It will also control the assessments that you have available to you. So when you go to take a quiz, it'll help make sure you take the right quiz. You start the quiz in Java if you're choosing to complete the course in Java, and you start the quiz in Kotlin if you're choosing to complete the course in Kotlin. What's the right choice? I'm sure that we're going to get this question like a hundred times. And the answer is there isn't one. You know, uh, both of these programming languages have advantages and disadvantages, and the page below goes through that a little bit. Probably the biggest trade-off here, the biggest tension uh, that I'll try to describe. Again, I don't have a favorite. I like both of these languages. That's why we're using both of them. Um, uh, the, probably the biggest tension here is really between choosing a well-established language that's been for around for a long time versus a newer language that might have some better features, that might have some improvements in terms of language design, but hasn't had as much time to get established. Java's been around for a long time, um, and during that time, it's become an incredibly popular programming language. It's used all over the world for all sorts of different things, including Android development, which we'll do some of this semester. Um, there are millions of people that know Java and use Java on a daily basis. There's a lot of companies that have code that's written in Java. All of that is not going away. Java is here to stay, and I suspect all of you throughout your entire professional lives if you continue to be working in software development, we'll have a chance to use the Java programming language and to build real high impact things in Java. Java is not going anywhere. Kotlin is a newer language. It's only about 10 years old. Um, however, because it's a newer language, it benefits from the fact that the people who designed it learned lessons from earlier languages. So older languages, typically more well established, newer languages, learned the lessons of older languages, and sometimes they're better designed. They made different design choices. Also, the world is different. Computers are a lot more powerful than they were when Java was created. However, the newer languages haven't had as much time to get established, and so there's less Kotlin code in the world than there is Java code. Now, to say for Kotlin, it has some things going for it. One of the things that it has going for it is that it interoperates with Java. So when you write code in Kotlin, you can use all the existing Java code and build on top of it. That's very useful. The other reason that we're comfortable introducing Kotlin at this point is because Google has chosen Kotlin as the next language for Android development. So Android, you've heard of, I'm assuming, smartphone platform, probably the most popular 
uh, software platform on earth. Um, people like to talk about iOS, but the fact is there are way more Android devices out there in the world than there are iOS devices, mainly because they're cheaper. Uh, and so there's a lot of people outside the United States that use an Android device. You learn how to write Android apps, you can distribute them to billions of devices all over the world. Um, Android, when it came out, used the Java programming language for people to write apps. As of 2019, they've now selected Kotlin as a programming language that they will support moving forward. So they're encouraging people to start learning Kotlin, to start using Kotlin to build their Android applications. What does this mean? It means that Kotlin, just like Java, is probably not going anywhere anytime soon. It has the backing of this big company, this big software development platform. Android app development's a huge thing. Those developers are learning Kotlin, starting to use it. Um, and so again, the likelihood that Kotlin is here to stay is pretty, pretty high. I think you can place a pretty good bet on the fact that again, throughout your working lives in software development, Kotlin will remain an option for you. Can I guarantee that? No, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't predict the future. If I could predict the future, I would probably not be teaching introductory computer science. Well, actually, I probably still would because I really like it, but I, I don't know, I'd, I'd be rich. I don't know if I could, whatever. I don't know, I don't need to speculate about that right now. But the point is, I can't guarantee that Kotlin is gonna be around for 30 years. I also really can't guarantee that Java is gonna be around for 30 years in a way that's meaningful to you. Like, will people still be doing really cool, cutting edge things with Java once Android starts moving away from it? I don't know, right? Um, technology changes. Uh, the languages people use today are different than the ones they used 10 years ago and the different than the ones they used 10 years before that. Um, and as someone who's entering the field of software development and technology, that's part of getting used to things, right? Is things changing? That said, there is no wrong choice here. That's probably the number one most important thing to recognize. There is no wrong choice. You will learn as much in the course if you take it in Java as you do in Kotlin uh, and vice versa. For some of you, this choice might be personal. Like you might already know some Java and you might say, well, I wanna challenge myself a little bit more and try a new language. Or you might already know some Java and you might say, I'd like to you know, have a, a comfortable first semester of college, get used to living away from home and being on campus with people. And so I'd rather take the course in Java so that I can you know, continue to build on top of the knowledge that I already have. So you know, there's really no wrong way to think about this. If you're really struggling, flip a coin, uh, heads, Kotlin, Tails, Java, and see what happens. Um, the only caveat I would say just for this semester, just for fall 2021, is that we've just started this in CS124. So I will admit that there are more course staff that know Java than there are that know Kotlin. We did use these Kotlin materials last semester in spring 2021 for a pilot version of the Kotlin part of this class that we talked to about 80 students. Um, and so the Kotlin materials are not new. They're already built. Uh, we've gotten to make some changes, just like we make some changes every semester. Um, but there probably are more staff that will be available to help you with Java than there are with Kotlin. That will start to change over time, of course, as we train more people in Kotlin and hire them into the staff. Um, but for just this semester, that might be one thing to keep in mind. So maybe consider Kotlin to be a slightly more adventurous choice. But it sort of was anyway. So anyway, I'm super excited about this, if you can't already tell. Um, you know, I like Kotlin a lot. I like Java a lot. I like the future, right? I also respect technology's past. And so I'm right here in the middle. I am not going to push you in one direction or another. It is absolutely 100% your choice. And there is no wrong answer here. No matter what you choose, we are going to support you 100% of the way. And you will learn the basics of computer science and programming in this course. I'm super excited about the semester. I'm excited that you have this option for the first time. We, I think we probably are one of the first intro courses, certainly the first big top level intro course to be teaching Kotlin. So you guys get something fresh and new and exciting while also having this option uh, that's well established, right? So you've got to get the best of both worlds here. Um, and we also may be one of the first courses out there that's really just giving you this option full on. We're not trying to teach two languages. Uh, you can learn either one. But Kotlin and Java are so complementary that we can just teach them side by side for the entire way. So anyway, uh, good luck making this choice. If you need help, ask on the forum, review the materials below. Um, you can't go wrong here. Though. No matter what you do, we're behind you 100% of the way, and we will make sure that you succeed in this class. Welcome, and I'm looking forward to getting started.